Hello, my name is Carx82, and welcome back to my Correct Tech New Horizon series. As we can see, I am out of oxygen, so definitely struggling on the oxygen. Um, so we're going to have to take a look at that probably pretty soon here. And I have not quite finished with setting everything up. Almost there. Oops, wrong room. We've got all our super tanks and all our, uh, on both sides, I finally finished the crafting this. So pretty large, pretty large distillation tower. And I just realized I left, uh, needed an import bus. I think I have one. Yeah. All right. So I think uh, we're good to kind of get this going. Just need to get these all, well, at least it doesn't need to be all hooked up right this second. I'll probably just kind of do that. Um, I'm on the own. Um, now I'm, I don't think we're going to have duplicates. I'm a little worried what happens if we have duplicates, um, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, let me, uh, we'll drop down underneath and we can see what I have done. And as we can see, I built another oil cracking unit over here. And this one is getting the heavy fuel and turning it into a severely steam cracked heavy fuel. And then that's being piped up there. Uh, the cabling is definitely not ideal. So like, this over here is connected to this one up here because this is a P2P, so it's all a bit kind of funny. I got to see how many channels I end up using on this. I don't know if I have enough to say add these two. I don't know. We'll see. I think I only have 19 channels worth. Um, but I think, uh, I think I can go ahead and turn this on at least... I did hook, yeah, I did hook that up. Magnet. All right. Where is my mallets? So let's get this going. All right, something is up with that. Is it not getting enough power? It may not be getting enough power. I was a bit... Worried about that? Yeah, I've definitely been having some issues with, uh, with the power. It should be fine, though, shouldn't it? Oh, it's not attached. I always forget that. There we go. Easy enough. Yeah, I'm actually looking forward to this so I can get rid of a whole lot of things with this. All right, there we go. So that three seconds, I think it's, I think that's like one second. There we go. So what do we got? We got light fuel, naphtha. All right, so we do have two naphthas. I'm going to have to kind of figure out, I think this one is naphtha as well. Um, Maybe, I mean, I kind of like having it this way. But, I mean, if it's going to be an issue, I could have just, like, some cabling sending it over here. I don't know. Not cabling, like, pipes, correct that pipes, just coming out and around to the back, but, uh. Right, so tooling is definitely one that I am in need of here. Um, but I'm going to have to benzene and all sorts of stuff so there's like butene another one so definitely getting a lot of great things off this set octane is basically what i'm getting up this i think i need propane too i can't remember um but octane is the main thing for this but this one has a lot of uh useful byproducts here 
butadine for my yeah there's two propanes as well and uh two ethanes all right so i'm gonna have to kind of figure out and another methane as well so there's definitely some duplicates um all right so let me kind of cut here and uh figure out how i want to kind of handle this all right we are back and i just decided to actually just leave them i just put storage buses on everyone i probably don't need them and i just set them all to extract and i think we'll just have more than one tank of naphtha and more than one tank doesn't really matter i don't think because uh if any machine needs it it'll just pull out wherever it needs to pull out and uh I think we're good so i think this room is completely finished i think it actually looks pretty cool that's a cool i mean that thing is huge but uh yeah i think it looks pretty cool um so yeah that's just producing all the stuff the byproducts and i have gone ahead and gotten rid of quite a few machines Uh, this one should finish up as soon as it's burning through all this, that stuff. Um, and then it should kind of finish up, I think. Um, but I got rid of distil the distilleries making methane over here, and I think propane over here. I need to get rid of this one can go. Um, I may just leave it here and then replace it if I need it, like a interface on the back of it maybe but uh, i got rid of this one it was making propane don't need that anymore so quite a few machines i've gone ahead and got rid of a lot of the machines down here i've gone ahead and got rid of we don't need them anymore like this i can get rid of um let's see i'll just pull this out Not that I really need to save a thousand tooling, but uh, yeah, I'll break that. So lots of different channels and stuff that I've actually opened up um, all over the base. Oh, we even get rid of this. All right, so I think we're good here. What is this? Oh, that's that. That's that. Yeah, we need all that. All right, so one of the big problems here right now is oxygen. I finally like gone through all my oxygen with the multiple combustion engines burning oxygen that is going through like crazy. So I think uh, we should go ahead and let's let's build an electrolyzer. I think the uh, the industrial one. I think this will get us much better. Um, It'll get us uh, oxygen much faster than trying to do it uh, manually. Um, so, osmine wires, that's fine. Yeah, all this stuff is relatively easy to make. I don't even need... I don't even need... Um, What am I trying to say? I don't even need any components for it, so... Yeah, let me uh, let me go ahead and actually. It looks like we have poten or poten or whatever it's called. We don't. So what is this? Uh, Fifty million more. So many alloys. Lead, bronze, and tin. Bronze is a bit annoying, but uh, easy enough. And stellite. Cobalt, chrome, titanium, and manganese. Ooh, chrome. Or titanium. I just went through all my... Yeah, I went through a lot of titanium. Alright, so let me go ahead and... Uh, get the stuff crafted up and... We will be back to check this out. 
All right, I think we got everything here. I'm just waiting for the last of this stuff. And I totally miscalculated <laughs> again. Um, but I'm sure I'll use these at some point. I think I did, uh, I counted this as four ingots as opposed to two. I, th I think that's what I did. Um, but anyway, I think we're good here. Uh, I'm not going to do the input output bus because I don't think you need them uh, for this. I think I need some, uh, yeah, some cable. Now this is going to be replacing this water thing over here. So why don't I just go ahead and throw this down here and even turn it off. So we get rid of both these. Um, I guess I'll throw it right here. I feel like I probably will end up moving that though. I'd put it over here, but like the way the cabling's kind of awkward. It, let me just throw it down here, and then if I decide to move it, uh, we can go ahead and do that. So why don't we? Uh, I think this is the usual the usual 3x3 three three, hollow in the center, that up there, so I guess we'll just do input hatch. I could do this all on one side to save on cables, but yeah, I always liked having inputs on the one side and I could actually, nah. Like that. This does need a muffler though. Looks like it can go anywhere. So EV hatch we'll probably put there. Muffler hatch, how about just how about on the back? And then the rest is these casings. Ooh, that's got a ink interface. All right, that form. Yep, there we go. So pretty standard multi-block, nothing too crazy. And the recipe was actually pretty easy as well. Um, what am I missing? Crowbar, no? Screwdriver. What am I doing? Screwdriver. There we go. And that is like a really bright interface. All right, there we go. So basically you just throw I think we just do the water. I gotta find this recipe because there's quite a lot. So water, oxygen. Oh, it's like right here in the beginning. Huh? All right, so water. What is the difference between these? Absolutely nothing, <laughs> right? Why is there two different recipes for that? Circuit of three, circuit of one. Is there anything different about these, or are they exactly the same? That's funny. We'll just do a circuit of one. And creeper noises. That one made me jump. Usually they don't make me jump, but that one did. I think this will work. Nope. All right. So I need a uh, input bus, I guess, for that. Luckily, I have a bunch, but I wanted to test it out if I needed an input bus or not. So, yeah, doesn't matter. I mean, I have extra, an extra casing now, but that eh, doesn't matter. I think I'm going to build a second one anyway. Uh, one for recipes. 
So I'm guessing that goes in there. All right, so we got the circuit in there, so I just need to put the water in, and then we should get the uh, things over there. I can use distilled water, but I don't, I don't think that makes a difference. Distilled water, yeah, absolutely no for no difference. Oh, it's right here. I guess I can just use that. I'll need no. Yeah, I have. Apparently, I have a quest for that. <laughs> but there. And the things are... Do I need to set the... Ah, that creeper noise didn't scare me. Do I need to set these? Alright, first question is how do I get the cable over there? Now that I'm looking at this. Um, yeah, because this is the P2P, so I can't go off that. Yep. Five off this one, we'll go off that, I guess. I mean, not ideal, but... Although if I'm gonna go off this, I should probably put them in the... I don't know. I'm not gonna worry about it. For now, we'll just do this. I guess I'll... We'll get the water going in there. See if it works. Well, I don't know why it wouldn't work. Um, I'm a little worried this is not going to be filling up fast enough, so it's going to be like on and off. And it, I mean, that might not. Like, how fast are we going? Yeah, it's not getting enough, so it is definitely going to. Why is it? All right. Oh, so if it's full, it'll actually turn off. So this one is a little different than the usual multi-blocks. It won't void stuff in the hatches, which that's kind of cool. Some do, some don't. All right, but anyway, here we go. Um, I don't know what to do. Should I... I'm like, would it be worth it having a second thing? You know what? Change of plan here. We are going to, we're gonna move this, I think. Turn that off. Let's go ahead and just automatically output into the thing. I think that's what, We'll do, and I didn't grab two buckets. I should have grabbed the two buckets first. Nice, that actually worked. And I think we'll just, yeah, auto input the water and then I have a, a storage bus on this. I think that'll be easier. So if we do that, put the storage bus here Put the reservoir here. Fill that up. There we go. And I don't think anything else is actually pulling water. I don't know what's doing that. Is that this making that sound? Yeah, it is the matter fabricator. All right, I just need to do this and it should, yeah. All right, so let's turn that back on. Yep, it's still, the EV is draining faster than it can handle. Um, question is, should I maybe just do HV instead? Um, we'll see if it causes problems if it's turning on and off. I feel like that might 
I just don't like machines when they're turning on and off because I feel like that's a bit laggy. Could be totally wrong, but. Like if it's turning on every, I don't know. We'll leave it, we'll see. All right, so there is the oxygen. While we're over here, eh, yeah, it's a bit jumpy. Uh, I don't know, we'll see. I know the more machines I build and running at the same time, the jumpier it's gonna be. Yeah, I don't think it's this though. Anyway, uh, so that is the electrolyzer. I think I'm gonna do a second one though um, for the actual, yeah, for my actual like crafting. Um, Cause it was actually pretty easy to make. And that way I can replace a lot of these. Like this, I think, oh, apparently I have two rods in there. Yeah, we can like replace all this. Wait, no. This. Uh, the question is, do I really need that though? You know what though? I, you know what I do need though? I do need a wire mill. Let me uh, cut here really quick and see what I want to do uh, for the rest of this episode. And I'm actually going to craft some more of this. Apparently not 500. 400? No. I need to get more titanium. 300. And I'm like short. 200? <laughs> yeah. Um, although I do have a lot of titanium tetrachloride, I think. Yeah, I have 400 ingots there. Maybe I should do that. Anyway, uh, let me cut here and we will be back. All right, we are back. And one last thing here. I know I've been going on about high octane diesel or gasoline for quite a few episodes. Um, but the final bottleneck here is ethanol. Now, this works okay but I'm waiting for trees uh, to get chopped down and now I can feed it like different materials if I want. Um, I don't have to just do saplings, but actually while I was looking at the recipes for, I think biomass it was. So we're doing the biomass to ethanol, which is a half. Um, we were doing, I'm doing the plant ball so it's 270 to one plant ball, uh, which is pretty cool. It's one of the higher ones. If we look, I think the highest is like mulch. Compost is a really good one as well. Um, but I also looked, I can just throw regular saplings in here in water and get a hundred. So the plant ball thing is, uh, yeah, that's not really going to work <laughs> because it's 8 to 1 and I only get 270 out of it. So I'm actually wasting. I wasted a whole lot with this setup. So why don't we just go ahead and... Uh, if I can find it. Yeah, we'll just break that, I guess. Um, but this is quite slow. As we have noticed, it's just sitting there, not even uh, doing anything at the moment. Um, I mean, I guess I could just throw that on the side, maybe? I don't know. I gotta figure out a better way to get uh, biomass uh, for the distillery. Is there a brewing machine multi-block? Doesn't, yeah, it doesn't look like it. I feel like that, is that even like working? It's like, 
All right. I was like, I don't think that was even working, to be honest. I think it lost the, the filter, and I didn't even realize. I was wondering why there was no, it didn't seem to be working. All right, so what is this putting out? This is 100, right? All right. So maybe it's going a little bit faster than I realized. I just had never put the thing in there. All right, so let's go ahead and... Take a look at this. How many is... Yeah, okay. So I have a lot in there. Um, but I can also throw other things in there if I want to. I could also put like melon or any sorts, I think, in there. Um, maybe I should go plant a bunch. Why don't we do that? Because melon you get... Don't I get a ton of melon from? I don't remember. I think it harvests melon, doesn't it? No. Well, I could probably also cut these down, except I don't have a... I need a slicing machine for that melon, don't I? Can this even go in the thing? Why don't we just... Extractor, mixer... Ah, no. It, it'll give us melon juice. So, that's not going to work. Alright, so let me... Uh... Yeah, let me decide what I want to do. I could probably just do like wheat or something. I mean, that's easy enough. Doesn't wheat go in there as like a... Yeah, so that's, I mean, it's 20, but it's... Hmm, honey, you get a better if you put it in like fruit juice, but eh, I don't think I'm gonna worry about that. Yeah, why don't I just go ahead and plant a bunch of Wheat. Can I just... Yeah, you do get... How about like, I don't know, eight? Oh, I need fertilizer. Yeah, I still haven't got this hooked up. I probably have enough channels. I didn't have enough channels at the time. I probably have enough now. That should do that. So why don't we go ahead and I probably don't need these these things anymore. Yeah, we'll kind of see if do I have no more. Oh well, I'll grab some more crop sticks. I guess I'm out. Yeah, we'll take a look at that and then I'll throw a capacity card on the the other thing. Why do these pop up? Oh, because there's, yeah, capacities in the tooltip. Uh, yeah, these don't. These turn into crop sticks in an assembler, right? Two. I think two is in the other. My other assembler. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, so let me uh, go ahead and set this up and we will be back. All right, before uh, I wrap up this episode, I wanted to get started on something here and that is worrying about the pollution. Now, if I have a bunch of these combustion engines running, I'm going to have to deal with this pollution. There's no way it's going to dissipate uh, fast enough. So there's multiple different pollution scrubbers that we can do. And this one uses the tier one, but I thought it would maybe be kind of cool to try and see if we could automate or get this crafted up. Now, this is not an easy craft. There's lots of steps here. Um, and we need this lithium peroxide. So from what I'm looking at, the first step is going to be turning this into lithium-7. Now let's see if this actually works. All right, it looks like it is. 
All right, it is working for that. I, didn't, I think it's doing five. Yeah, I think it's doing five at once. Um, but basically that is turning the lithium into lithium seven, I want to say. Seven something. Yeah, lithium seven dust. So you need a precision laser engraver and it's three to one. Um, so I'm putting, I think, 96 in there. So let me uh, get this and uh, we'll come back. And there we go. There is the lithium seven. I need to upgrade that row of machines for sure, because that is really slow. Um, next part, we need to add, put this with uh, oxygen and water in a chemical reactor. So one water, one oxygen, 16 lithium. And that'll get us that. I'm just going to borrow this one, I think. So two oxygen. And two water. And did I lock these? Uh, I don't think I locked this, did I? That'd be awkward if I did. Let me just double check. I know I locked the other ones, but uh, this one, I don't. One's the miscellaneous fluid, steam, and items. All right. Yeah. So there's that. So this should work. Yep, there it goes. So this is only four seconds, and that will give us there. Now I need two of these, I think. That won't do an empty. The... Uh, well, I don't know if this will either, actually. No, oh, that is totally not what I wanted. <laughs> How about right there? There we go. I'll do that. But that was entirely way too complicated. All right, so this gets us the hydrogen, liquid, lithium, hydroxide. Now we're going to need this chemical dehydrator, which I do not have. Um, so it looks like there is EV, IV, LUV. All right, so there's two of those. What are we looking at? All right, so this looks a bit <laughs> complicated here. Yeah, all right, so this is going to take me a little while uh, to do. Why don't we go ahead and craft this up uh, in between episodes, and uh, next episode we'll get everything that we need for the lithium hydroxide here, or the, the filters, the air filter, and we'll take a look at how these work. Wherever you are. Where are you? Oh, that's not the one I want. Pollution scrubber. There we go. Yeah. So we'll craft this up next episode and we will take a look at how these work. And I will probably craft up some more uh, combustion engines if I can find the... I need the titanium. So I'll probably go uh, move my to drill, I think. And also, this is working fine, um, but I don't know if there's any way to speed this up other than crafting a bunch of them at once and just having like a row of them. I don't know, but I'll look into that in between episodes. Anyway, that's going to be for today. So thanks for watching and have a good one.